Indeed, uh, we'll move on uh, to a posting uh, from uh, Justin uh, Moremi uh, from uh, Dar es Salaam in uh, Tanzania who posted this comment on our wall. Negative domestic factors ranging from corrupt rulers, uh, repression, a colonial legacy and insufficient political structures ironically thrust Burkina Faso into particip participatory democracy. This clearly demonstrates that Africa is not static but is progressively adjusting to universal standards as far as governance is concerned. Kudos to the people of Burkina Faso for your political maturity. Another comment comes uh, from uh, Fred uh, Toramiyomwe. I hope I said the name right. I think I got it right. He's writing uh, from uh, Kampala in Uganda. And he says, I think the desire by Burkina Faso uh, to have a peaceful post-election country could be the motivation to have this type of election. The Electoral Commission in Burkina Faso must have been resolute to make sure that the country remains united and peaceful by announcing the results in a free, fair, and credible election. I wish the Ugandan Electoral Commission would take Burkina Faso's lead. Well, Shaka, and guess once again, your take on this comment. Interesting, uh, Chris. Yes. Very interesting indeed, and I have been uh, very overwhelmed um, with the amount of support that the people of Burkina Faso have received from their fellow Africans across the continent. Um, all of the recognition for their efforts mm. um, are really inspiring. I should also say that uh, when you look at Afrobarometer and a lot of the research work that is done across Africa, the percentages of Africans who continue to aspire for democratic governance continues to rise every year, mm -hmm. even as they distrust their, 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 some of their governments. And so the governments that are trying to stay, sit tight or stay in place are really riding against the current of where Africans want to be in the 21st century. Thirdly, I would say that you know, the prime minister, the, the president-elect, Mark Rock Kabore, even though he may have served as Kampare's prime minister at some point, is also his own man because he broke away from Kampare at a time that mattered. And many people attribute the change that eventually happened to the fact that he was able to leave Kampare with a lot of followers, which weakened what was left of the ruling party, and that contributed. So there was a broad coalition, all the way from young students at the university, across the board to former members of the ruling party who bonded together mm. to make sure a change could happen in Burkina Faso. 